Welcome back to Santa Fe for another episode of American Dream TV. I'm your co-host, Neil Lyon. And I'm your other co-host, Jake Lyon. Santa Fe, with a population of 90,000, is the third largest art market in the United States behind New York and Los Angeles. Let that sink in. We celebrate our culture of art with many internationally renowned events in our summer months, including Indian Market, Spanish Market, and the International Folk Art Market. However, 365 days a year, we have an art scene that is thriving and diverse. Anchoring our reputation as a world art center is our beloved Canyon Road Art District and our many museums. New Mexico is very fortunate to have Dr. Mark White as the executive director of the New Mexico Museum of Art. Let's go inside and meet Mark. Hello, Mark. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you both. Thanks for taking the time with us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Welcome to the New Mexico Museum of Art. Why don't we go take a tour? All right. The Museum of Art has had an important place in the history of New Mexico and Santa Fe. Tell us about that. Well, the New Mexico Museum of Art was founded in 1917. The director, Edgar Lee Hewitt, wanted this to be a showplace for contemporary art. And so he contacted one of the most prominent contemporary artists of the day, Robert Henry, who's painting is behind us, uh, in order to draw some of the finest talent to Santa Fe. Henry agreed, he came here, he was given free studio space, but he had a profound impact on Edgar Lee Hewitt. He encouraged Hewitt to have an open door policy, by which he meant that any artist could come to the museum, put their name on a list, and be assured an exhibition in the institution. That policy held until 1951, and it had a profound impact on the inclusivity of this museum. Uh, it was really able to give a lot of young artists their first museum exhibition. I'm struck by not only the fact that we're surrounded by exceptionally beautiful works of art, but this building is really incredible and has been a fixture on our plaza for a long time. Can you tell us about its impact? Definitely, so we're in the women's boardroom, which is one of our more historic rooms within the building, um, but this building was intended as a revival style. Uh, the architects looked to the Spanish mission churches in New Mexico, they looked to the Pueblos, uh, and they created a hybrid style based upon the architecture that they found uh, around historic New Mexico. But it had tremendous impact on the influence uh, it had in Santa Fe, and so one of the reasons that Santa Fe looks the way it does today is in part because of this building. Our mission to collect and show contemporary art was somewhat challenging as we got past 1960. Contemporary art became larger, uh, its media began to diverge from traditional media, and so we began thinking about how we might expand to continue our mission to show contemporary art. And thus came the Vladim Contemporary. Why don't we go over and take a look? Tell us about the opening, what's planned? So we're really excited to open the Vladim Contemporary on September 23rd, 2023. This has been about 10 years in the making. The museum is uh, an identifiable part of the Santa Fe Rail Yard. Uh, we hope that it will be a regional, national, and international destination for contemporary art. Well, this seems like an exciting opportunity for the museum to open its collections and showcase wonderful contemporary art that they've had for a while. Tell us what the first ex exhibition is going to be. Our first exhibition is titled Shadow and Light. It is an exploration of the famed New Mexico light that has drawn artists for generations. And so the artists that are included in the show used light not only as a physical manifestation, as a medium in their work, but also as a symbolic construct to explore various ideas. Jake, this was a special day today to have early access to the Vladim Museum. I'm so excited about its opening in almost two months. Yeah, this is great. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of American Dream TV. I'm your co-host, Jake Lyon. I'm Neil Lyon, and thanks, thanks very much for joining us. See you next time.